Lord's Supper together. This is just a wonderful uh, tradition that the Lord Jesus Christ has made for us. And you got to say, well, what do here of cleats have anything to do with it? <laughs> You know how fond our pastor teachers of speaking Greek to us, right? He tells us all kinds of Greek words. Greek words we probably don't even want to know. But we get to know it anyway. And uh, it's lovely, actually. Because in these Greek words we find distinctions that we possibly don't get in the English. And it, uh, it helps us in terms of anchoring our faith and we're thankful for that so this morning we want to talk about a Greek word that has to do with a pair of cleats and that's because the Greek word is paraclete can you say that paraclete. you took it once from me please thank you so paraclete and again so it's a Greek word that says the one who calls out from the side. Imagine yourself in a courtroom, in a Greek courtroom, and similar to this. As a matter of fact, a lot of the church's traditions came out of that. <laughs> like the podium, the judge would be sitting here, and the defendants would be sitting somewhere out there in the crowd, and the paraclete would be standing alongside that defendant and representing them. We would say it's a lawyer. An advocate. So, click, click me again, please. Thank you. So, three words basically in English <clears throat> mediator, advocate, intercessor. All terms having to do with what would be a representative would do for someone who is in a court. And whose court is it anyway? It's God's court. And there are some verses that go along with this that we might want to take a look at. Uh, you can't read this, but uh, if you click it one more time, I made it big enough so you could see it. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> and so that little swatch in with a red, red square around it, or whatever that is, is, is the word that's translated uh, as advocate or mediator or, or one who intercedes for and it has the distinction of being the beside caller, the entreater, the one who represents another. So we want to talk about this relative to our relationship, our salvation, and even what the distinction of what we're doing this morning with the Lord's Son. I'll leave you with that as an introduction. Uh, one more slide. Uh, there are two paracletes mentioned in the New Testament. One is the Lord Jesus Christ. And he sits with the Father. And one is the Holy Spirit. And he resides in you as the blood boy. So we want to think about that as we... Um, consider this this morning. I have uh, three men who are going to share some things with you tonight uh, concerning uh, this thought, and uh, welcome. 